is your name. God, your name is great. And your name is power. A strong tower that makes me say, Come on, sing, Oh Lord. Oh Lord, our Lord, our Lord. How excellent. How excellent. Is your name. Is your name. God, your name is great. Your name is great. And your name is power. Your name is power. A strong tower. A strong tower. Make me say. Make me say. Oh. oh, oh. Provider, 
it was a lot in that. This is all in like the week right before graduation. All this was happening. And, um, but when I tell you God is faithful, oh my word. Oh my goodness, God is so faithful. Like, you know, so many people were praying. You know, I was really just trusting and relying on God that as long as I didn't give up, as long as I kept moving forward, he would see me through to the end. And something else that, you know, a friend of mine told me, she was like, the gap, the gap between your attempt and success is the grace of God. She's like, just keep going, Maya. And someone else told me, she said, um, she said, um, you have to do all that you can so God can do all that you can. And I was like, okay, I'm just going gonna, gonna to keep going. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to, even though they're telling me I'm not going to graduate, I'm just going to keep, you know, moving forward as if I'm going to graduate. And um, I'm just so grateful. Um, like, when I tell you, like, the assignments that I had to do, it was nothing but grace. It was nothing but favor that I was able to submit the assignments and get them done and that they were even accepted. Um, and I was just, I was just like, God is too faithful. He's too faithful, he's too merciful, he's too good, and he saw me through to the end. And the scripture that I was holding on to was Hebrews 12, um, is it Hebrews 12, 2? Um, I press forward, no, not that one. Yes, yes, thank you, yes, <laughs> press forward the mark, thank you. That's the scripture I was holding on to, and when Pastor Sam was preaching, he was like, you know, the joy before you is greater than the shame you're experiencing now, and I love the Amplified Classic version of that scripture because it says that um, Jesus um, ignored the shame. It says he despised the shame, and so I was like, even though, you know, this moment I'm feeling so overwhelmed, even though I'm even feeling shame because I'm, like, in this position, I'm trying to submit all these assignments, I was like, the joy I set before me is greater, and so I was just, you know, holding on to God, and um, amen, and God saw me through, amen, God saw me through. God gave me this degree. God gave me this degree, and this degree is ultimately for him. I'm telling you, like, I, I told God, I said, God, this degree belongs to you. I dedicate it to you. I'm only going to use it for you. I said, if you don't tell me to do something with it, I'm not going to use it for that. I mean, this degree is really for God. And so I'm just so grateful that I could graduate and that God carried me, and I bless his name that I was able to make it. And so, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for the joy that was set before him. He endured. Amen. We bless God. Amen. Next week, we will take more testimony. If you can stand with me, can we stand, please? I just stand. We are still in the season of Pentecost. Can I hear amen to that? Amen. We are in the season of Pentecost. Amen. Apostle Paul says, perpetual doors have been opened for me. But there are many adversaries. Father, we thank you. Make this declaration with me. Say, Spirit of living God. Come on, say it loud and clear. Spirit of living God. Say loud and clear, Spirit of Living God, quickened the whole of my being in the name of Jesus. Spirit of Living God, quickened the whole of my being in Jesus' name. Say, Holy Spirit, open my eyes. Say, Holy Spirit, open my eyes to see beyond the visible. And make invisible open to me. In the name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. Say Holy Spirit of God. Open my eyes. To see beyond visible. And make invisible. Visible to me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. Come on say Holy Spirit. Open my eyes. And let me have a revelation of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, open my eyes and let me have a revelation vision of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of God, open my eyes and let me have a revelation vision of God in the mighty name of Jesus. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit. Teach me to pray through problems. Instead of praying about them. In the name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit. Teach me to pray through problems. Instead of praying about them. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, reign on me now. Holy Spirit, reign on me now. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, reign on me now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. This next one is going to say with power. Say, Holy Ghost, fire. Destroy. Every satanic garment in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire destroy every satanic garment in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy it in the 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 name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord. Say, oh Lord, give unto me the key of good success. So that anywhere I go, the doors of prosperity will be open unto me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, give unto me. Oh Lord, give unto me the key of good success. So anywhere I go. The doors of prosperity will be opened unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare with my mouth, I declare with my mouth, and so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Key of good success will be given to me. So anywhere I go, doors of opportunities, doors of prosperity will be opened unto me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Heavenly Father, I bless you. Heavenly Father, I give you praise and I give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I ask you from today on to lead me, to direct me. To empower me, to teach me, to equip me in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I want to have a closer relationship with you. Holy Spirit, speak to me. Holy Spirit, give me instructions. Holy Spirit, give me direction. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father. I thank you. I bless you. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. Say, Holy Spirit, give me spirit of wisdom, spirit of knowledge, spirit of understanding, spirit of might, spirit of might, spirit of counsel, spirit of might, spirit of the fear of God, spirit of the fear of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, induce me with power. Holy Spirit, induce me with power to do great things on earth. Induce me with power. Empower me for service. Empower me for mission. Empower me for evangelism in the name of Jesus. Come on, if you believe, clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Father, clap your hands and give God praise. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Man, you may be seated. You may be seated. We're going to declare and pray this thing later in the name of Jesus. I, I want to teach today on the works 
of the Holy Spirit in the life of believers. The works of the Holy Spirit in the life of believers. In other words, in our life. Last week, I spoke about who is the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy Spirit? We learned that the Holy Spirit is not wind. But when the Holy Spirit is present, there will be always movement. We also learned that the Holy Spirit is not water, but it washes like water. We also learned that the Holy Spirit is not fire, yet it can, it can manifest like fire, but the Holy Spirit is not fire, but it purifies like fire, or even more than fire. Who is the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit is to us what Jesus was to the disciples. It's very important to know that. What Jesus was to the disciples, the Holy Spirit is to us today. Amen? Holy Spirit is God with us. Holy Spirit is God with us. It is very imperative. That we have relationship with the Holy Spirit. It is very important that we know who the Holy Spirit is. If we want to be induced and be empowered and be equipped by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God is the continuation. Continuation of God on earth. Glory to God. The continuation of who? God on earth. Amen. We know God is in heaven, but guess what? Holy Spirit is with us. Amen. It's the extension of God on earth. Amen. So, Holy Spirit is the continuation of God on earth today. Hallelujah. Also, Holy Spirit is the administrator of the glory of God. Hallelujah. The administrator of the glory of God. Also, Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. We know the Trinity. He is the third person. He is the third member of Trinity. Amen? We have God the Father. We have God the Son. We have God the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. God the Father is in heaven. God the Son is seated at the right hand of the Father. But guess who is with us today? Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Somebody say, Holy Spirit of God. Come on. Somebody say, Holy Spirit. Don't be afraid. It's a person. Holy Spirit is a person. We established that last week. Holy Spirit is not electricity switch that you switch on and off. He has his own personality. Glory to God. Amen. It's not electricity, but when he comes, he can shock you. When you come down, it can shock you. Blow even tonight, it's going to shock you a little bit. Keep on looking at me. It's going to shock you. Hallelujah. It's not shocking you to destroy you. It's not shocking you to give you pain. But it's shaking you to be in alignment with the spirit of the living God. Because some of us need to be in alignment with, the, with God. With alignment with our purpose. He shake you and shake you in alignment. Can I hear amen to that? Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is the breath of God. Holy Spirit is our counselor. Can I hear amen to that? He is our counselor. Holy Spirit is the witness of Jesus. Is the witness of Jesus. Also, Holy Spirit is the visible evidence of the presence of of God. I pray as we continue to teach about the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit, you will see the Shekinah glory. Shekinah glory is the manifested power of the Holy Spirit. You will begin to see gold dust falling on your clothes and begin to see feather in this sanctuary. Amen. The visible evidence of God's presence.
Now today I want to talk about the works of the Holy Spirit in our life. The works of the Holy Spirit in our life. And then during the altar call, I want to, that's why and we only do one testimony. We'll do more testimony next week. And then, then after that, we want to do what we call activation. Have you heard of that before? Activation. The works of the Holy Spirit. So that Holy Spirit begin to work in you and through you. Amen? And that's why it's so important to first of all teach who is the Holy Spirit. Somebody called me sometime this week. He said, Dad, since you lay hands on me, I'm just dreaming, I'm having vision. I am scared. I won't mention that person's name. Since you lay hands, I'm just having dreams and uh, having vision. And uh, I will tell mom, she will tell me, yes, this is it, this is it, it's true. What you are having is not me, it's the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. He said, I am afraid. You don't need to be afraid of the Holy Spirit. It's going to come upon you tonight. Don't be afraid. It is the Holy what? Holy Spirit. Amen. It's good to know the person of the Holy Spirit. And also to know the what? The work of the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit here to do? Work of the Holy Spirit in our life. Glory to God. Amen. Amen, church. Amen. Then we're going to begin with activation. Activate those gifts that the Lord has given to you so you, you begin to experience the work of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So don't be scared. If you are seeing vision and seeing dreams, it's the Holy Spirit giving it to you. It's the gift of God. Can I hear amen? Let's go to Acts 1 8. It says, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea, Samaria, and to the end of the earth. You shall receive power. That's the first thing I want to talk about today. One of the works of the Holy Spirit is to empower believers. Is for us to be empowered. We are empowered by the Holy Spirit. Amen. The works that we do in the kingdom of God, we cannot do it by flesh. We need the Holy Spirit. And what happens? God himself will empower us. Glory to God. He will empower us to do the work. So number one, Holy Spirit empowers believers. Holy Spirit empower believers. Jesus told the disciples, he said, do not go anywhere. Stay in Jerusalem. Stay in Jerusalem until you are induced with power. Until you are induced with power from heaven above. Jesus knew that the disciples cannot do it by, by themselves. Jesus knew that they are not yet empowered, glory to God, to do the work. The work of the ministry, hallelujah, especially a ministry that moves in power, a ministry that moves in prophetic and healing and deliverance. Glory to God, you need the power of God. Are you hearing me? So he told them to stay in Jerusalem until they were what? Induced with power. Now you will see in the scripture, that's the day of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2. But before the Acts chapter 2, guess what? There was no power. The disciples would go to the temple to do what? To pray. And they would come back. They didn't start their ministry. Until they were, they were empowered by the Holy Spirit. And the first miracle they did, Remember Peter and John, when they went to the temple, they saw that man at the, what? at the temple. He was sitting at the gate called Beautiful. You remember? At the gate called Beautiful. That was after they were induced, after 
they were empowered by the Holy Spirit. After they were empowered by the Holy Spirit, guess what Peter said? Peter told the man, look at us. Look at us. The man was not paying them attention. I believe the man knew them. Because the apostle, apostolic ministry, in those days they prayed three times a day. So they always go to the temple. And the man was always sitting by the gate called beautiful, at the gate of the temple, to do what? To beg for money. To beg for money. You will see before the Holy Spirit, they couldn't help the man. Before the Holy Spirit, they could not do anything. They ignore him because they can't help him. But after, come on somebody, after they were induced with power of God, there also boldness came upon them. Boldness to do miracles. He said, look at us. And he told him, silver and gold, I do not what? I do not have. I have not. But before then, he didn't do anything. But now he's empowered. They had been what? Empowered by the Holy Spirit. And they told him, rise up and walk. So, Holy Spirit empowers believers. That's number one. Number two. Let's go quick. To John 16, 13. John 16, 13. He said, however, when he, do you see the word, the word he, the word he, personal pronouns for the Holy Spirit. Personal pronouns. He, not it. Holy Spirit is a person. Glory to God. When he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. The spirit of truth has come. He will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak of his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. Tis to come. So Holy Spirit, guide us to all truth. If you need direction, you need truth about somebody, about something in life, in your business, in your job, in what you do. What you need to do is to consult the Holy Spirit. You talk to the Holy Spirit. Come on, how many want the truth about something? Hallelujah. I don't know much, but the Holy Spirit knows everything. When you talk to the Holy Spirit, it will guide you. He don't want you to make mistakes. He don't want you to go to the wrong place. Hallelujah. That is the duty, the assignment, the purposes. One of the purposes of the Holy Spirit is to guide us to all truth. It's to guide us not to make mistakes. If someone lied to you, you want to know the truth, consult the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you don't know where to go, consult the Holy Spirit. We need to have relationship with the Holy Spirit of God. He will lead you. He will direct you. He will instruct you. He will guide you. If you don't know it, he will tell you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He don't want you to miss, miss your road. He don't want you to make mistakes. He knows all things. Pastor Matthew, he knows all things. You know it. He knows all things. Where to live, Holy Spirit will guide you. What job to get, Holy Spirit will guide you. Which school to go to, Holy Spirit will guide you. Hallelujah. He cannot get tired. He's omnipresent. He's omni omnipotent. Omniscient God. Holy Spirit of God. He knows everything. He's all-knowing. He's omnipresent. David said, if I take my bed in hell, I cannot hide from your spirit. You cannot hide from God's spirit. He sees you. He knows where you are. Even if, say, even if I take it to hell, you're there. He's there at the corner of the bottom of the sea. He's there. Omnipresent of God. Amen. Amen. Omniscient of God. He knows everything. Hello? He knows everything. He knows what happened 
last week. He knows what happened yesterday. That's word of knowledge, but he has word of wisdom as well. What will happen tomorrow? What will happen next year? Hallelujah. He knows the next president of America. It's all right to vote, but he knows who's going to be there. He is in control. He is in charge. Are you hearing what I'm saying today? That's the Holy Spirit of God. He guides us to all truth. If you don't know, pray and ask the Holy Spirit. I do that all the time. The way I talk to him all the time, he don't get tired. He's waiting. He wants it. I talk to him. If I talk to you like that, you'll be tired of me by now. Pastor Martin. The way I talk to him, I ask him almost everything. Hello? I talk to the Holy Spirit. I want to be led by him. I want to guide me into all truth. I don't want to make mistakes. We make too much mistake in the world that we are living in. There's no more time to we make another mistake. He guides us into all. I'm excited. Glory to God. I'm excited that the Holy Spirit of God is there to guide us. He guides us to all truth. Jesus told the disciples, He's called the Spirit, He's called the Spirit of truth. The Spirit of truth. When He comes, He has come. Amen. Glory to God. He will guide you to what? All truth. Come on, how many want the truth? Want to know something? How many want the truth? Talk to the Holy Spirit. Consult the Holy Spirit. Speak to the Holy Spirit. Amen. My knowledge is limited. But the knowledge of Holy Spirit is unlimited. Hallelujah. He knows everything. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I talk to the Holy Spirit all the time. So some of the works of the Holy Spirit. One, Holy Spirit empowers believer. Two, he guides us to all truth. It's not finished. Let's go to John 14, 26. John 14, 26. I want to pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to guide you, to lead you, so you know direction, what you need to do. He can give it to you in your dream. He can give you vision. He can send someone to you. Amen. He can speak into your spirit. Amen. Sometimes we get what we call audible. That is not common in the time that we are in. But some people see here it audibly. The voice of God. That the Holy Spirit speaking. He will whisper into your head what you need to do. John 14, 26. He said, but the helper. Hallelujah. <laughs> the helper. Holy Spirit also is our helper. Come on, I may need help. Come on, I may need help from God. You know what David said in Psalm 121? I lift up my eyes to the hill. Where come my help? Glory to God. I don't need to look up. I can look down. Because the Holy Spirit is what? Here. God is what? Here. Because Holy Spirit is the continuation of God on earth. Or the extension of God on earth. Hey, can we say amen to that? So, but, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. Imagine, teach you what? All things. And bring to your remembrance all things that are said to you. So Holy Spirit, not that the Holy, not only that Holy Spirit guides us to all truth, but Holy Spirit is the best teacher. Holy Spirit teaches us all truth. Glory to God. He teach all truth, but also he teach you all things. Glory to God. He is a teacher. Glory to sometimes I'll prepare a message, but Holy Spirit begin to teach me and giving me more insight about the message. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I've already prepared it, how I know it, but the Holy Spirit come and begin to teach me and give me more insight.
maybe I'm teaching about the doctrine of Christ. There are some things that happen that is not even written in the Bible. But because the Holy Spirit was there, Holy Spirit witnessed everything that happened on the cross. Holy Spirit witnessed the birth of Jesus. Holy Spirit witnessed the crucifixion of Jesus. Holy Spirit witnessed the resurrection of Jesus. Even when they put him in the tomb, nobody was there. Guess what? The Holy Spirit, oh God of heaven, the Holy Spirit was there. Hallelujah. He knows everything that we do not know. Come on, somebody. Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher. He teaches us all. I love this scripture. Let's go to another scripture. I love it. First John 2 27. It teaches us all things. I may want to be taught by the Holy Spirit. I may want the Holy Spirit to teach them. It teaches you all things. It teaches you about your life. It will teach you about your job. It teaches you about your business. It teaches you about your family. Hallelujah. He knows all things. It teaches us all things. Hallelujah. Let's go to 1 John 2, 27. I love it. 1 John 2, 27. But the anointing that you have received. Let me tell you something about the anointing. Anointing is different from glory. Or from the Holy Spirit. Anointing actually is the power of God. Anointing is the manifestation of the presence of God. Which is the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, there's no anointing. Amen? That's why Acts 1 8 says, you will receive power when? When the Holy Spirit has come. Anointing is the manifestation that the Holy Spirit is here. Anointing is the power of God. Every believer, you are anointed. Oh, that amen is so weak. You didn't sound as if someone, like someone that is anointed. Ah, every believer, you are anointed. Okay, it's getting a little bit better. Every, listen to me. Every believer, the moment you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are anointed. And I will tell you why. If you are not anointed, you are not accepted. I'm telling you, it takes the anointing of God, that's what brings us to the presence of God and for God to accept us. As many, oh God, as many that have received him, he gave what? To be what? As many, as many that have received him, you receive Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are anointed in that moment. Because if not, you cannot be accepted. No, you cannot be accepted. As many that receive him, he gave what? Power to become the son of God. Amen. So the moment you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and, and Savior, the anointing is released to you. But there are different level of anointing. Different what? Level of anointing. If you have anointing and you don't develop it, it will not be developed. Every believer has anointing. But some develop the anointing in their life. Also, the anointing also increases based on your faithfulness to God. I won't stay in the anointing too long. That's my area of teaching. The anointing. But listen to this, John 14, 26. He said, but the anointing which we have received from him abides in you. And you do not need anyone to teach you, but the anointing, the same anointing, teaches you concerning all things. Concerning all things. And it's true. 
And it's not a lie. As just, and just as it has been taught you, you will what? Abide in him. Sometimes the anointing of God is teaching us, but we have no discernment to know who is speaking. That's why the problem is. Holy Spirit is always speaking to us, always leading us, always directing us. But there's no discernment to know who is speaking. Is it God? Holy Spirit? Is it the devil? The devil speaks to us. Or is it self? Are you sharing me? But the same anointing will teach you all things. So the Holy Spirit teach us, teaches us all things. Can we say amen? Now let's go to Romans 8, 11. We're going a little deeper here. Romans 8, 11. Then I'll give you the next one. He said, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, who raised Jesus from the dead? Thank you, man. It's the Holy Spirit. Based on the scripture, it's God, the Holy Spirit. He said, if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead Dead dwells in you. Now let's establish something who dwells in us. That's what we call the indwelling. There's the indwelling Holy Spirit. And that happens when? It happens in the day of Pentecost. Amen? It happens on Acts chapter 2. Amen? In the Old Testament, in the Bible time, Old Testament, before Acts chapter 2, the Holy Spirit will come. And the Holy Spirit will what? Go. Holy Spirit did not dwell inside of them. He comes and he goes. Anytime God wants to use them for a specific assignment, Holy Spirit will come upon them and use them. And Holy Spirit will what? Will depart. But in Acts chapter 2, he came upon them and he did what? He stayed in dwelling. So that's why Romans 8 is telling us, telling us that that spirit of God, the Holy Spirit is inside of us. The same spirit that resurrected Jesus Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. Dwells in you. He who raised Christ from the dead. We do what? We also give you life. We also give life to your mother body, mother bodies, through his spirit who dwells in us. His spirit is in us. What he's saying is the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. That same spirit will give us what? Life. So the next one is, Holy Spirit give life to our physical body. He give life to our physical body. If you feel that life is leaving you, if you feel you're getting an attack in your body, I'm here to tell you, the Holy Spirit inside of you, we will pray and ask God to quicken the Holy Spirit inside of you to give you what? Life. It impart life. It impart strength. It impart health. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't know about you. He imparts what? Life. He gives what? Life. He gives what? Strength. He gives what? Health. And he gives it in your body. That's what the Bible says. Your mother. That means physical. Your mother body, he gives it to you. Hallelujah. I can pray in the name of Jesus today for God to give you life. To give you strength. To give you good health in your body. Hallelujah. When the life of God comes inside of you, sickness will go. Disease will go. Infirmity will go. Hallelujah. He imparts life. Huh? Yes. Before my father passed, he was telling the story. He was dying. He was living. The doctor sent him home. The Nigerian. They said, no, say it's old age. Who tell you old age? 
when the Holy Spirit come upon you, it will renew your youth. It will renew your youth as of ego, like an ego. Glory to God. They set him home to go die. God told me, I called him. God said, just pray for him. I'm the one that determined when he will go. Not the doctor. And I thank God for the doctors. They're doing very, very well. Amen. Can we bless God for the doctors? Dr. Elizabeth and Co. They're doing very well. Amen. I thank God for them. You know, I go to the doctor, you know, go for checkup. I do my checkup. You know, they prescribe some stuff, you know. They're doing that. Amen. But there's a super doctor. There's a higher doctor. Hallelujah. They sent him on to go die. You know, before they sent him home, before they said, he, was, he, was, he was there at the hospital. They said, well, my sister said, no. They said, dad is going. Age is old. Then he was about, no, not 90. He died at 90. He was about 87. He was old at the time. So I prayed the scripture. Quicken his body, Lord. Impart life and strength and health upon him in the name of Jesus. We left it. The next day, guess what? The person that they say is dying, they're about to discharge him to go home and die. He got up. He hasn't eaten in a few days. He got up. He said, I am hungry. I need something to eat. They gave him food. He ate it. He said, no, this is hospital food. It's not the food. I need every food. I'm serious. God is my witness. He left. He went home. ate every food. He lived for another three years. Three more years. You see, God is the one that determines when we depart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because we can speak Holy Spirit in part life. Holy Spirit give life. Holy Spirit give strength. Holy Spirit give health. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Come on. Scream and see if you have the life of God now. Amen. I'm speaking life. Amen. 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 That's the life of God. Hallelujah. No one can take your life. No. I don't receive that. Amen. Has the only to quicken you. It's inside of you. Are you hearing me? So Holy Spirit give life to our physical body. When Adam was created, remember? <laughs> the breath of God is the Holy Spirit. When he was created, there was no life until God did what? <laughs> the breath of God is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Also, the Holy Spirit it gives power for service. Power for service. Acts 1 8. We use it before, but it's for to empower. He empower you for what? For service. Acts 1 8. Say, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem. You shall be what? You shall be what? Witnesses. He empower you for service. He empower you for mission. Glory to God. You shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. He empower us so we can do the work of the ministry. He empower us for service. He empower us to do the work of God. Amen. By ourselves, we cannot do it. Amen. We will be tired. But the Holy Spirit empower us for service. Now, let's go to the next. Let's go to Jude chapter 1, verse 20. Jude chapter 1. Verse 20. 
Remember the last one? He empower us for serving. You shall receive what? Power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And then you will be my witnesses. That's service. Witnesses. The work of the Lord. Mission. He empower us for mission. He empower us to witness. To evangelize. He empower us to pray for the sick. The sick will be healed. He empower us to pray for those that are having spiritual issues. It's the Holy Spirit that brings deliverance. What we need to do is to pray. Amen? Glory to God is to pray. I remember those days. I used to go to India a lot. Go to India. Go to Africa. We would do crusades. People would come for service. Guess what? They came blind. They go home. Their eyes open. I'm telling you, their eyes will be open. We were empowered for service. We are empowered for the work of the Lord. Amen. If, the, if you see vision of God, you start having more dream now, God reveals something to you. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. It's because you have been empowered. Glory to God. You have been empowered by the Holy Spirit of God. And that's why the Holy Spirit is here with us. Hallelujah. That's why God, Jesus told the disciples, don't go anywhere. Stay in Jerusalem until you are, what you were saying, until you are empowered for service. Until you are empowered for the work of the ministry. Amen. Glory to God. is the work of God. Now, let's go to Jude. Are we there? That's what we did last week. Jude one twenty. Are we there? Come on, let's read together. Is there? One, two, three, read. Hallelujah. Jude is telling us that how to build ourselves up is how? By praying in the Holy Spirit. He said, building yourself up in the most holy faith. In other words, building yourself up in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. How many spend time? I'm just praying in the Holy Ghost. When you do that, what you are doing, hallelujah, you are building up your spirit. Glory to God. He said, building yourself up in your most, most holy way. What are you doing? I'm building myself up. Most holy faith. By praying in the spirit. Amen. Don't only pray, pray in understanding. Amen. You pray in the spirit. Then you pray what? Let me reverse it. You pray first in understanding. When you pray in understanding, you are praying what you know. Amen. You pray what you know. Then you allow the Holy Spirit to what? To help you in our weaknesses. There's a lot we don't know. Are you hearing me? There's a lot we don't know. There's a lot we will never know. Amen. There's a lot we will not know on earth until we get to heaven. Some things are mysteries. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's some things are mysteries. It's not the revelation. It's not now. Amen. So how do we pray? First of all, if you want to pray, start praying in the, in understanding. Pray what you know. When you finish praying, mm, 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 mm. somebody go to 1 Corinthians 14. 1 Corinthians 14. Somebody read it for me. 1 Corinthians 14. Paul was teaching us how to pray. Read prayer. Amen. Don't only pray. That's why I want you to pray in the spirit. Don't only pray in the spirit. Also, we'll get there. Praise in the spirit. Worship in the spirit. But you have to start with praying in the spirit. Because there's some things we don't know that the Holy Spirit knows. 
Holy Spirit is omniscient God. He knows everything. So if I only pray what I know, what about those things that I do not know that will happen to me, that will happen tomorrow, that will happen next year? Oh, are you hear what I'm saying? Oh, that will happen after church. We don't know it. Amen. So the best place to, to pray, you start with what? Understanding. Pray what you know. Then number two, you pray in the world, in the spirit, in the Holy Ghost. What you are doing, you are allowing the Holy Spirit to help you in your weaknesses. Because you don't know everything. Holy Spirit knows everything. Allow him to pray the rest of the prayer. Apostle Paul was teaching us. Yeah, Jesus came. Somebody open for you there. Is it 1 Corinthians 14? That's one. One. Go to two. Stop there. When you speak in tongues, you're not speaking to who? To man, but you speak to who? To God. And that's why I love it. Not only you don't speak to man, even you don't speak it to the devil. You don't know what you are speaking. He doesn't know what you are saying. It's a mystery to him. Uh huh. Speak to God. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mystery. Uh huh. Now, let me, let me bring a little understanding there. Sometimes, stay there. I'm not there yet. Don't worry, I won't be long. Sometimes, when you speak in the Spirit, it can be twofold. Apostle Paul told us that. You can be speaking to God. And sometimes, God gives revelation to tongues. You can be speaking to the church. But that has to be interpreted. Are you hearing me? Because I can, you can speak to God. And God can speak to you in the spirit. But it needs the gift of interpretation to be interpreted to the church. When God is speaking to the church, you can't just speak to the church in tongues. It's a revelation. It needs to be interpreted. Alright, continue. I'm going to the prayer part. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself, uh -huh. but he who prophesies... No, he who speaks in tongue edifies himself. God. Huh? Edifies himself, okay. Mm -hmm. But he who prophesies edifies the church. church. Exactly. Uh -huh. I wish you all spoke with tongues, mm -hmm. but, even more that, but even more that you prophesied. Mm -hmm. For he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks with tongues. Unless indeed he interprets Interpret. uh -huh. that the church may receive edification. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But now, brethren, if I come to you speaking with tongues, what, what shall I profit you unless I Skip speak to, to you? Okay, seven. Even things without life, whether flutes or harps, whether they make a sound, unless they make a distinction in the sound. talking in tongues. Go to 14. For if I pray in uh -huh, a tongue, that's it. For if, if I what? If I pray Start in a tongue, with twelve, twelve okay. there. Okay. For fourteen. Even Paul so, was teaching us how to pray, how to pray, proper way of praying. Amen. Glory to God. Go ahead. Even so, you, since you are zealous uh -huh. for spiritual gifts, uh -huh. let it be for the edification of the church. That you seek to excel. Exactly. Three. Thirteen. Therefore, let him who speaks in a tongue pray that he may interpret. Interpret. Fourteen. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. unfruitful. You see, you see, prayer. How do we pray? When we pray in tongue, really, you don't understand what you are praying. Unless you have a prophetic gift, go open up your spirit. If we do it today, you will see some people, God will open our hearing, spiritual realm, and understand exactly what you are saying in the spirit. It's a gift 
of interpretation. Amen? Go ahead. Uh, so, see. when you pray in tongue, what Paul is saying is unfruitful. You don't know what you're saying. That's why speaking in tongue or praying in tongue or worshiping in tongue is by faith. Everything we do in the kingdom of God is by what? Faith. Praying in the spirit is by faith. Prophesying is by faith. Praying for the sick is by faith. Taking someone to deliverance is by faith. Amen. But is your spirit, when you pray in the spirit, your spirit is praying. I'll give my understanding. We'll go to Rome 8 soon. Go ahead. What is the conclusion then? Uh-huh. What is the conclusion? I will pray with the spirit. Uh-huh. And I will also pray with the understanding. Uh-huh. I will sing in the, That's with enough. the spirit. We're going to sing it. We're going to get this song. That's enough. We're going to get it. Singing in the spirit too. Singing in understanding. Singing in the spirit. Amen. I will show you. If I have time, I will show you. Now, how do we pray? You start with understanding. Pray in understanding. Number two, pray in what? In the spirit. You will cover everything that you need to cover. That's why I pray. Actually, I pray more in the spirit than understanding. I pray a lot in the spirit. All day today, that's what I was doing. In the spirit. In the spirit. In the spirit. How do I pray for the church? In the spirit. In the spirit. I took this thing. We were here praying. I took it. I laid my hand. You know what I was doing? Listen to me. I'm not reading your resume. I'm too busy to read resume. It's a lot. I'm not reading re- your resume to see what you want to do. I'm not reading your, your project to see what you are doing. No. I, I, la- I can't pray in understanding because I don't know what's there. But the Holy Spirit knows. So when I got it, you know what? I got it right here. I lay my hand and begin to pray. As I pray, we start praying. Boom. From Revelation 8. How about from 18? What do I do? I can't begin to pray one by one in what understanding. I don't know. I know Sister Gladys tell me what she's doing. I don't know the detail, but Holy Ghost, no. Your resume, Holy Ghost, no. I don't read it. I just pray not understanding. It's too much. I don't know. How do I pray? Pray in the Spirit. What am I doing? I allow the Holy Spirit, the intercessor. Holy Spirit, let me let me show you this. Then I will try and finish. What time do I have? Oh man, that time can somebody stop the time for a little bit? Go quick, go quick, go quick. Romans 8, 26, 27. I want you when you pray now, pray understanding after my time is up. After let just finish that scripture. Pray with understanding. How do you pray? Pray with understanding. Have a list of things. That you want to pray for. But when you finish with your list, allow the Holy Spirit to pray for you. Because there's some things you don't know. Are you hearing me? You might be praying for a job, and there's something will happen tomorrow that will actually stop you from getting the job. When you pray in the Spirit, the Spirit will pick it up. And the spirit we want, we deal with it. Because I don't know, praying for a job, yeah, you need a job. But there's something blocking you to get the job. And you don't know. But guess we know. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Let's read that quick. And then, are you with me? Likewise, the spirit helps. In our weaknesses. For we do not know what we ought to pray for. What we should pray as we ought to. You do not know. Amen. But the Spirit helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself make intercession for us with groaning which cannot be what? Alter. The Spirit make intercession. So the Spirit of God pray for us. 
He knows the man of God. Go to 27. He searches. Now, he who searches the heart know what is in the mind of the spirit. He know the mind of the spirit because he made intercession according to the will of God. I love to pray according to the will of God. Not according to my will. According to the will of God. Amen? Now, I'm going to do something. Just remain seated. Pastor Moshe, come. Let me appoint three people. Let's do some activation. Then we can. So when we pray, we pray in understanding and we pray in the spirit. We pray what is in our mind and we pray what is in the will of let me ask, ask you which one would you like to do? The will of God. That's how I spend time. I pray a lot in the spirit. All of this, I hear sometimes I don't know what to pray for you for. I don't know what you're going to say unless you tell me. Unless the Holy Spirit reveals. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Can we activate? Do I have time to activate some uh, prophetic gifts here? I don't want to do everybody time. You just do three people. Holy Spirit, pick somebody. Holy Spirit, pick somebody. Huh? Holy Spirit, give somebody an anointing. Pray, please. You pray. Wow. Look at Holy Spirit. I'm sure she's sitting all the way in the back. <laughs> sitting all the way in the back. We're going to do some activation here. Come. Grace, huh? Gloria. I call it Gloria. <laughs> Gloria. Glory. Amen. I call her Grace. I'm sorry. Maybe. Amen. I remember my mother, before she passed, she came to us, she was still with us, and was telling us when I was born in Africa, and at the age of at eight days, at the eight days, they will dedicate a child to God. According to the scripture, they will dedicate to God. So, they will do the ceremony, yes, yes. And uh, my father and mother had to do something and take the statue and say, you have to dedicate him Isn't that embarrassing? <laughs> you know, my parents have this long, difficult African name. <laughs> Typical Yoruba long name. And the prophet say, uh -uh, this one says, man of God. Is, and the Lord say, his name is Samuel. Amen. But I'm not saying to change your name. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I need two more people. I will just tell you, hey. The Holy Spirit is here. Amen. Let's tap into the resources that God has given to us. Amen. For direction, for instruction, to teach us all things, to help us to pray. To help us to pray. I see somebody here. My ass mom, come. She didn't expect it. She didn't expect it. All right. 
and come. And then one more person. Where are the men? And then one more person. Where's Felicia? You are here? Holy oh, Spirit call you out, Pastor Masha, God give her. Come. Let's just do three. I want us to begin to pray in the spirit. Everybody begin to pray. You guys pray in the spirit. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. To pray in the spirit. Just, just last week. You started last week? Yeah. Amen. You don't need to pray in the spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's begin to pray. We're, we're going to do And that mm-hmm. he was actually prophesying in the spirit. Yeah. God was speaking through her to the church or to herself mm-hmm. or to a situation. Mm-hmm. So that can happen. Mm-hmm. Right? Actually, you started speaking in tongue when? Last week? Last, last Friday? Friday mm. Is the work of the Holy Spirit. Come on, can we bless God for the Holy Spirit? Mm. Just last week when you start with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And there's a way that can be developed. Prayer. Oh, I didn't get to worship today. Oh, man. But they said, we also have Holy Spirit inspired us to worship. Not only worship, praise and worship. In Acts chapter 2, the Bible said they had the Arabs and the Cretans. They were speaking Hebrew. 
That's why they move on so fast and so fast they kill it. They are out. Why are they speaking? Our language. And this is what the Bible says. The Bible says they were what? Praising God. They were giving the goodness of God, the great work of God. The work of God. How good is God? And they rejoice. They are out. They are not. <laughs> they were speaking that language. It's the Holy Spirit. Yes, go ahead. What, what, what about the tongues that they, they mourn and they they mourn and they mourn and they pray? Go on. Okay, begin to pray. Begin, begin to pray. Go. Lie, 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 lie. Yeah, yeah. Lie. Yeah. She keep on saying that she's 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 here by faith. She's doing a faith walk. She keep on saying that I, I, the only what I have here. Really, all I have is you. I just gotta trust you. I just gotta know. That's you. I know that you're here, but I'm doing the faith walk. I'm doing a walk. My God, my God. Mm, 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 mm. I only have you. I only have you to trust. I only have you to, to rely on. And I need you in every area and every, and every decision that I make. She wants to make the right decision. So she's saying, I need you. I'm Holy inviting Spirit. you. In. Holy Spirit, I'm inviting Holy every Spirit. decision. I don't want to make any mistakes. Glory to God. And he says, I'm here. She says, I'm here. I'm here. Baruba and Mukaba. They also said something earlier. I said, sorry about this, God. We just want him to, to be the absolute best version of himself. Nothing else. Nothing else. Your friend, glory to God. And you want him to You have brought me thus far, and you're not going to leave me. I need. Every, every direction, everything that you have, every direction, every, every form, direction in my book, direction in my, in my life, direction, I need direction. Yes, I hear you. Can speak, 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 speak. Mm. But I need it clear. I need clarity. I need total clarity. Oh, 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 I need clarity on some things. Oh, I need clarity on some things. I need you to speak to me as you never have before. Yes, 
my heart would be warm. Change is coming. Change is coming, I hear. Yeah, you are not alone by yourself. But Lord said, change is coming. At the appointed time, change will come. And the Lord will give you peace. He will give you peace. He's faithful. He's faithful. Continue to endure. Continue to push. Don't give up. You can't give up right now. You've gone too far to give up. Lost so much to give up. And as the Lord begin to restore you, it will do more than restoration. It will do it will give you even what you never had. That's what I'm saying by the Spirit. But what you never had. Because God is a God of restoration. And the Spirit of the Lord says, I should tell you from now on, begin to pray for restoration. Amen. Don't wait until restoration comes. Begin to pray. As you begin to pray for it, God says, I will bring it. Because you are in the season of restoration. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. Even God wants us to pray for restoration. Amen. I will show you a scripture. Amen. Because my people Amen. are not praying for restoration. Oh. They've gone through so much. But they're not asking me to restore them. Yes. God is in the yes. business of yes. restoration. Yes. Even in the process of restoration, he will show himself mightier. Not only will he stop, but he will give you what you never had. Restoration is giving you what you had before. Mm. But God said, I will give you what you ah. never had before. Ma. What you oh. never ah. imagined before. Perfect. Because I am God. Go. And he will do it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hey. In Jesus' mm. name. Amen. Amen. And I prophesy. Ah. The Bible says we shall declare a thing and it shall be established. Even as you get up right now from your knees. Let you know that kneel before God will stand before anyone. So as you rise up, God will begin to restore you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Also here, also be praying for God to renew your strength. You are weary. Weariness. To renew your strength. Holy Spirit is the duty of the Holy Spirit. He gives life. To give you life. To restore your strength. Man, zeke te lebehe. That's Sonia's uh, daughter is here with us today. Back there. Come, let's bless you. Let's pray for you. Come. Come. That's Sister Sonia's uh, daughter. Come. Man, zeke te lebehe. See you. Pray for her. Sister Carolina, right? Praise me. Come on, let's pray for her. Come on, church, just raise your hands and begin to, yeah. to bless, bless her and God will speak to her. Amen. Come on, begin to pray for her. Begin to pray for strength. Begin to pray for her. Pray for her career. Pray for the baby. In Jesus' name. Mm, amen. I see both hands outstretched like this before God. I see in one hand there's there, there are lights. Oh, glory to God. And in that hand, in the, the, the other hand, the, 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 the lights are very, 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 very it's there, but they're very, very dim, very um, I don't even know how to say it, just re really small. And when I ask the Holy Spirit, the Lord says, do you know that there is some undiscovered gift that you possess? Do you know that there is some gift that is dormant? Do you know that there is some gift? And, and how, uh, uh, the Lord says, I speak to you sometimes, just a quick talk, thought. It's just a quick thought. And, you, and, 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 and because you're multi-gifted, um, sometimes there's some, a quick thought may come to you. Let me just use this, this as a scenario. You know what, maybe I, I could do hair. And it's, 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 a, it's a quick thought. 
start, but is God speaking to you because you're so gifted? And maybe I can, I can, I can help women. And maybe it's a quick thought. Oh my God, my God! But it's the Holy. But, but God says the in that in, in some of the gifts you realize already, but so many of them you have not realized. And God says, I'm going to raise those. I'm going to cause those gifts to become a, like a burning fire inside of you. So those that those gifts will namasukuri ata lepe tikuri kata levanduro sekendi barabahanda reketa ina manduru indi kisaya hey. To God, oh glory to God, that she will know that it's not her, my God, my God, and she's not doing this thing alone. But God says, It is something that I will give you, it's one of the life's gifts that I will give you. It's a life gift, in other words, it's gonna be. For some people, is 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 like they knew what their destiny should be or should have been. Then it's 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 it's, it's a known. It's an in depth knowing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the Spirit of the Lord is saying it it, 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 it it many times it just didn't go. You were right there on the brink of it, but it didn't go that same way. Glory to God. But when my husband said, but when restoration comes, glory to God, He's gonna bring you greater. Oh my God, and better. Oh. I, 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 he's going to take you to the pinnacle. Maybe you've been uh, just hovering maybe at the middle or at the bottom or somewhere there, but God says, I'm going to take you to the pinnacle of the reason why I created you. My God, and I'm going to all the assignments and all that I have and all, nothing, oh, thank you, Lord. I hear you, I hear him say, nothing will restrict you. Rabbi, stand at Rabbi. Restoration is at hand. Restoration. I, I hear the Lord say, prepare for the Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Father, just give you glory. I give you honor. Mahili mikaria surunda. Imekature etikara. Emiti entikeri ato. Ima indekeri kato. Mareke toria saka. Imandiri atoronda bahande de bahoa. Ambandua. Akiri ato. I hear the Lord say, I'm going to give you more than what you bargained for. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Some people are, are, are very, are, are, are very, um, 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 something about jobs. But God said, even a job that you didn't bargain for, I'm going to give you. 
Rekata, Ereke Torosi Kanda the Bahaya, in Amasanda, even the ones that are watching out there. All you got to do is open your mouth and claim it. Karabazoka, glory to God, glory to God. Again, I'm getting the word pinnacle. Imani Asoni Arakandoa, Gloria Gassi, I'm taking you deeper. Koraba Sanda the Bahanda the Bahoa, Makenda the Bahora, Irma the Lossi, I'm taking you deeper. Ibadu Zapuria and the Bay in the Baha, and Namahana Mahana Mahana Mahaya. I'm taking you deeper, I'm taking you wider. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mande the Bahori Bianda, Rekatori Bianda the Bahanda the Bahaya, Rekatora Banda the Bahaya. Honey, I see um, there's a blaze on this thing here. The, 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 all the, the, oh, what do you call this thing? Resumes and what and, and ideas. I see a fire. I see a fire blazing on them. Rebo se keri baba, and it's uh, and it's not the red fire. It was that proper fire, which is a hotter fire. That blue is proper fire. It is hotter. Glory to God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my God, restoration. My God, my God, restoration. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And uh, I don't know, is her name? What's what's the the you, new young lady's name that I saw came in? Here earlier, I can't. I don't see where she is. Where is she? Right there. I hear the Lord said uh, that he's per, he's uh, uh, preparing her to become a very great evangelist. He is preparing you to become a very great evangelist. Glory to God. You're going to give your testimony. And as you give your testimony, my God, lives will be transformed. Lives will be changed. And you're going to say, oh my God, people are going to say, well, if you survive this, my God, who am I? I can survive that too. My God, if you've been through that, I'm my God. Oh my God, my God. Oh, so you're testimony will be a prophecy to others. It says the spirit of the living God. But I heard the Lord say, great, great, great uh, evangelist. You're going to do work together. You're going to work together. Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord say, it is her, is, 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 is her desire anyway. She has a desire, glory to God, to do something. Is your desire normally, I mean, it, it, uh, um, even before Christ, just to, you like to give back. You like to do for others. You like to do things. Uh, and glory to God. God says, uh, what you're going to do now? Oh, my. I'm about to set your place. I'm going to set your blazer and I'm going to cause you to burn. Burn, burn, burn with passion for Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, prepare yourself because you're a Muslim. One of the people that you will minister to, my God, is the Muslim people. You're going to go out there. Oh, my God. And you're going to tell them Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, Rabbi Hey, Korabah. My God, my God, because so many will say, so, so many will reject. Many people are say, oh, why can't you talk to me? You can't, you don't have nothing to say to me. Glory to God. I live by the Quran. I do this, I do that. And you're going to say, I had the Quran. I had all of that, the other things that goes along. My God, my God, with Islam. But Islam didn't set me free. Islam, it did not set me free. It didn't break the bars of the prison for me. Oh God, so I can speak it. Oh God, the freedom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pam, I hear the Lord saying, don't consider it. Sometimes you're like, you know, like, I want to do more. I, I'm like, I want to do more. God says, I have plenty more. I have so much more for you to do. You just, uh, just get yourself together. Glory to God. I hear the Lord say, there's actually been an attack against your health. There's been an attack against your health. Glory to God. We're going to shut down the spirit of infirmity because he wants to stop you. He wants to stop you. Glory to God. But there's going to be about to be so much work. My Lord God. You understand me? I don't know if I want to re release this one to her or not, but I'm going to go ahead and release it. Uh, um, the Lord is telling me that at the appointed time, she will go to us, go with us, with, with, with a team to various parts of the world. But I see her with, what do you call this um, thing? A clipboard. 
and, and, and she would be speaking like, okay, fine. Pastor said we should do this and we should do that. Okay, and then, and then over here we, we're going to do this. I see you. And you're following beside that. You're not deviating from what you were directed to do. You're going to follow it to the letter. And you're going to do it just as well. My God asked of you, says the spirit of the living God. Says the spirit of the living God. Oh, hallelujah. So now the Lord says, you make sure. Don't, you cannot, you got to come up here. That's why you have this community. That's why you have Pastor Sam and myself. When you know that a spirit of infirmity is lurking around, you rebuke him, go to God, but there's sometimes you need prayer of agreement. Then you come and say, Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying to some, some people here, some, some men and women here, glory to God, that the, 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 the way to the cross is very narrow. The way to the cross is very narrow. Glory to God. And the way to the cross is with instructions. Mm, karabazoka. Mm, Jesus. It's with instructions. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The way to the cross, my God, my God. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Is with scolding. Mm, okay. All right. My God, in other words, uh, it's not going to be always pretty. I may have to correct you. I may have to. This is God speaking to me. I may have to rebuke you. I may glory to God. But he says, if you, a mama, if you only stand firm, glory to God, uh, and let me shape you, yeah. my God, my God, and let me mold you, korabasaya, and let me stretch you, korabasaya, yeah. and let me do what I need to do. Uh, he says, I, uh, oh my God, my God, I'm the potter. Yeah, yeah korabasaya. And you are the clay. But my God, can the clay say to the potter, what are you doing? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because I'm doing a work. I'm doing a work. I'm doing a work. Says the spirit of the living God. Now, honey, I'm hearing the scripture. So you are my work. You are my workmanship. 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 You are. I, I want you to say, I am God's workmanship. I'm, oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Created in Christ Jesus. Created in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God. And I'm here for a purpose. I'm on assignment. Glory to God, and I will fulfill my assignment. Glory to God. I will be that man of God. I will be the woman of God. I will be my God, my God. All that God has purpose for my life in the name of Jesus. I will not deviate. I will not deviate. I will not. I don't know why I need to say it. I will not deviate from, oh my God, my God. I will not deviate from the plans of God. I will not. I will not. I will not. I will not. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And what I hear the Lord saying, glory to God. Oh, oh God, he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Oh, Rabbi Saka. My God, my God, my God. He may even tell you something, go back to where you're coming from. He may tell you all kinds of stuff to get you out of the will of God. He may tell you things, go to God. Oh, my God, my God. Nonsense about the churches. He can put thoughts in your mind, glory to God. He could put thoughts in your mind about Pastor Sam, thoughts in your mind about myself, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, but reject. It because if you don't reject it and you receive it, you can't blame the devil. You cannot blame the devil. Hallelujah. And that's why I'm going to put my God, Elder Martin, I'm going to put her on spotlight right now. Because years ago when you came, I don't know if you remember, you said, Pastor, the devil is trying to tell me some things. My God, my God, about Pastor Sam and myself. And you said, I have submitted myself before in this church, before man of God and before you, and I will reject everything he has to say to me. I'm not receiving it. I am not receiving any nonsense that he's telling me. I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> come here, come here. I got to hold you to say this one. She said, <laughs> I don't think, oh, no, nobody knows this except me. 
And I think so. <laughs> she said, the devil is even trying to say, look how Pastor Sam is handsome. And she said, you know what I told him? You know what I told him? She said, I told the devil, look how he's handsome for Pastor Marsha. <laughs> She came. She spilled it all. She put it on the line because she said, I don't want it. It's not. Listen. I'm here to be the woman of God that God wants me to be. Glory to God. She says, I accepted Christ. I think you said in the 70s or 80s or whenever. Glory to God. But I have not walked this way before. When restoration starts coming to your children, to your family, to you. Glory to God. And even to your health. Glory to God. I remember that. Glory to God. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. You don't listen to the devil and tell you, tell him off. You tell him off. You tell him off. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. But restoration, I heard the Lord say, restoration is at hand. Number one. Number two, I heard the Lord says, Prepare for the, that's, the, that's the word I got this morning. Prepare for the miraculous. Prepare for your miracles. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for your miracles. It's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I won't go to, into the details, but I even got, with I even got one myself today. It wasn't in the miracle. Or the, I'm telling you, I'm like, whoa. And I'm like, okay, this is one of my miracles. It just happened there. Praise God. Amen, somebody. Amen. Let me tell you something. I rejoice. I rejoice. Glory to God. I can tell you what it is. It's a woman with a, with, with, with a bakery that makes special specialty cakes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She was closed. Hallelujah. And she said, she said, I, I, you call me, right? She said, well, you know, I'm not baking it. You know, I'm, 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 I'm whatever, whatever. I'm not taking any cake or orders or whatever. Um, she said, but, but, you know, I could, I could take a date for you, you know, in the future. And I said, well, the future is Tuesday. It was Diamond's birthday. And she's like, I'm afraid I can't help. Well, when did you say? Tuesday. Let me call you back. And she called me back. And she said, you know what? We're going to do it for you. I said, that's one of my miracles right there, right there, right there. Glory, the place is closed. I don't even think she knew why she called me back. I don't think she knew why she called me back. And you want to hear something funny? She's booked out on, until the after the 28th is when she takes the new orders. Which is Diamond's birthday, the 28th. I was like, God, you are funny. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And exactly what I want is exactly what she's going to do. Amen. Amen. That's one of my miracles. Amen. And I receive it already. <laughs> oh yeah, I give God all the glory. I give him all the honor. I give him all if you may say what well, you may say that's a little one. No, that's a that's a that's a big one for me. When a bakery has closed and do specialty cake and call me back and say I'll take the order after after whenever and then so go and say she's gonna go ahead and do it. Glory to God with all the everything that I want. Praise God. <laughs> amen. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. I'm Lady Corinne. Here the Lord says, um, <laughs> I hear him saying, hmm, sealed by the Holy Ghost of promise. Sealed by the Holy Ghost of promise. Can I say it one more time? Sealed by the Holy Ghost of promise. The Holy Ghost of, of promise, the testimony you gave, and God says, the Lord says, the Holy Ghost of promise is going to seal that. But not only that he's going to seal it, he's saying also, that expect there's something else that's going to come your way. Amen. Something wonderful is coming your way. Amen. So prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I, I need everybody who believe in God for the miraculous. Hey. And if you wouldn't be such a man or a disaster, I could start with the blue team world. Oh, wow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, um, Irma, I hear the Lord saying, glory to God. Hallelujah, Paul. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, Irma, 
I hear a little saying, Brother for God, that um, uh, one of the reasons why you have to come in the hands of the season is because you have to be evangelized. Amen. It's because you have to evangelize. The Lord said, every day, don't only take one day, every day I need to be there. Because it's the week. That's how you got in the house of faith, right? Yes. The Lord says that there is an anointing upon your life Amen. to bring them in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the amazing thing is, God says there's a boldness, but the boldness is that a lot of people's boldness is that they think that they just need to just see God and they want to say, Yeah, you see God for a second, but you move on to the next one. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You move on to the next one. Glory to God. Amen. That's what the Spirit of the Lord is telling me. And that's what he's looking for. That's what he's looking for. If somebody got a moment and said, oh, God, I can't. I ain't got no church. And, and they told me off. And they said, I'm a, I'm a this, I'm a that. And, and, but God says, no. You see God for one second. Who is that? But then I go. He's on your side. Amen. And God said, that's what I'm looking for. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Evangelize. I bring people in here. And they go, yeah, you don't want that? No, no, but you bring people in here. Yep. That is what you bring in, God. That is good for me. Lord said me, what, what I see is there's some um, like lilies, some lilies on some people's shirt that is calling them to, 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 evangelize, to, to evangelize. I just see like a lily popping out on their leg. Glory to God. We set apart. We set apart. We set apart to go in and see if they want some of this. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to spread the good news. We're going to spread We're going to spread the word to people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and, and I hear the Lord saying, they're going to say, people will ask you, well, you know, I see, where's the change? Why are you, you know, you know, you've always been beautiful, but you're more beautiful right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I'm just putting it in nice, crazy words. But what I'm saying is that God is saying that there's, there's about to be change, and I just heard the word rapid. Rapid, 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 glory to God, hallelujah, my God. And it's for the sake of the, it's for the sake of the uh, this purpose. That you will you will continue on this path. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, if you truly want it, and anybody else here that wants to evangelize, glory to God, that wants to bring on the lost, 
Take every opportunity, every opportunity. Do not lose the opportunity when I bring them there. He said, salvation is not selfish, my God. He said, salvation is selfless. Whoa, 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 whoa. My God, my God. So he said, take away bashfulness. Take away, well, you know, I really can't speak like that. The Lord says, uh, my God, but my son can speak like that over you. That's why you're here. God, my God, my God, my God. Oh, hallelujah. And yet the Lord saying that there's some people in, in, in your, your own uh, peers and things like that, that you may say, well, I, I, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed because, you know, I'm, I'm a man of God now, or I'm a woman of God, or God is raising me up, and I don't want him to kind of tell, I don't want him to run away from me if I tell him about Jesus. The Lord says, let me tell you something. If you don't tell him about Jesus, they're going to run straight into hell, some of them. They're going to run straight into hell. And how would you feel to know that there's somebody that you know, you had the opportunity, I feel this word in my toes, you had the opportunity to speak to them, and you did not, and they lost their life. Glory to God, they lose their life. And at the end of the day, you say, my God, I didn't speak to him. I met him last week, and I could have said something. I met her last week, I could have said something. I was getting the prompting, but I didn't say anything because I was too bashful. My God, the Lord said, the time has come. The time has come. The time has come. Glory to God, where I'm going to be bringing people, bringing people, suicidal people. I'm going to be bringing people that had the last chance. I'm going to bring in the people. Glory to God, that the, the, the enemy has different sneers for them. Glory to God, I'm going to be bringing them before you because we are definitely in the last days. We are in the last days. We're in the last days. And if you don't go, if you don't be bold against the devil and say, I'm going to talk to my friends. I'm going to talk to the neighbor. I'm going to talk to my God. Somebody at the grocery store in the, in the, in the, in the grocery line. I'm going to talk to them. Glory to God. And I hear the Lord say, it is written in heaven. Every time you spoke, speak to somebody who I sent to you. It is recorded in heaven says the spirit of the living God. I'm really done now. <laughs> you may be seated. <laughs> oh my God, my God, my God, my God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the true and living God. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As you're sitting and you're getting settled, just raise your hand. Um, Rhea, you're one of them. Yes, you, you, you and Bina, you're two of them. The Lord said, receive, just lift up your hand nicely and say, I receive my miracle. You got to do it seven times. Oh, Rabba. Yo, Rabba, say, I receive my miracle seven times. It's, I receive, you know what? I'm going to do it too. I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you. Yeah, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, I just heard the word driver's license. Somebody want me to want a driver's license, and they're about to get it. A -a Amen. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. The fullness of time has come. Mm, Zoka. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Woo. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen, amen. And um, Gloria, uh, it's all going to come together. It's all going to come together, little by little. Don't move an inch from here. I don't care if somebody offer you back home in Arizona, if somebody offer you a job, a dada, da da dee, 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 don't move. Amen. Can't afford to. You're in the perfect will of God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Somebody give the Lord a hand. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is time, glory to God, for us to, to, to take an offering, glory to God, and uh, possibly, you know, pay your tithes. Some people do it. Uh, was someone telling me, somebody was telling me that, listen, I don't, listen, Pastor Marshall, I don't wait. Who was telling me? Oh, I know. Okay, she's right here. She said, I don't wait. I used to wait till Sunday to be all proper and pay my tithes. She said, when the thing come, I, sh I get, I shoot it off right away because I can't afford. God has too many things in store for me. I am not going to play around with his money. The tenth is his. Glory to God. I'm seeing the things that he's doing in my life and I'm going to play around with it because the devil, it will fight you. Say, you know what? Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Your tithe is what, people? what your tithe is. Amen? Hallelujah. And I love it. She said, yes, I'm just going to honor God. Hallelujah. With my tithe and my offering. I see changes, changes, changes. Glory to God. The devil will try to deceive you. My God, my God. If after all, you do this and after all, you do that. He will try. Amen? But you're not allowed to succeed in the name of Jesus. Amen? Anybody need an envelope? Anybody need an envelope? And, and and did all that I done that I did all day, my God. It's only by your grace and by your mercy. Glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you for the ability to work. We thank you for the ability, my God, to earn a living. We thank you for it, and we never take it for granted. Lord, as the, as uh, your children are about to come out, glory to God, with your tent, both the ones here and the ones online, glory to God, hallelujah, I know that I know, my God, uh, oh, hallelujah, that you will bless it as it's for the furtherance of your kingdom, uh, oh, glory to God, in Jesus' uh, mighty name we pray, amen, amen, and amen, you may uh, follow the direction of Brother John, <laughs> you all just come forth, amen, you all just come forth. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good to hate me. Lord, you are good to hate me.
my Lord. I felt that. Praise the Lord. Now you remain standing. I'm going to go ahead and close if y'all want to have a little jam, jam session here for a few minutes and it's all up to y'all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead and close. Amen. Just, just, I just need somebody to agree with me and say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over my life. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over my life. Jesus is Lord. Over my life. Oh, my, 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 my. Glory to God. Amen, amen. Bow your heads with me, please. Father, we just thank you. Oh, God, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you adoration, my God, for yet another day. Yet another day. Glory to God. Be in to be in your presence. Another day, glory to God, to say thank you. Another day to love on you. Another day to say we appreciate you. Another day to say, oh my God, my God, you are indeed the light sustainer. That when the enemy came in like a flood, you did not allow me to sink. You did not allow me to die. You did not allow me to lose my mind. You did not allow all of it. But instead, my God, my God, my God, you raised me up. Oh my God. Oh God, you raise us up, Father. And that's all. You are the only one can do what you do. My God, nobody can take credit for raising us up. Oh, my God, my God. Father, have your way in our lives. Have your way. We give you glory. We give you praise. And we give you adoration as we depart from this place, but not from your presence. Now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with us all now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen.